Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. I'm going to quickly show you guys everything that you're going to need to know in regards to your settings and making sure you get the highest FPS possible when playing New World. I'm not just going to go through in-game settings though, I am going to go through your Windows settings and if you have an NVIDIA GeForce RTX graphics card or whatever, there's some settings in here for you as well. If this video helps, then please do drop a like and subscribe to the video. You can catch me live on YouTube as well. I stream New World every other day as much as I can. So yeah, it really helps grow the channel. If you have any questions, please do leave a comment below and I can get back to you as soon as possible. Or you can drop me a message on, on any of my socials here. Uh, everything, link in the description below. I hope the video helps. Thanks, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Alright guys, so super quickly, these are the window settings. It's nothing too drastic, but what you're going to do is go to your... Uh, your search bar down the bottom, type in gear mode settings. Um, so there's some people out there who will tell you to have gear mode on. Personally, I have it off. It seems to work best for me. Everything you just want to make sure this is Xbox Game Bar is turned off. Capture record background is off. This this will help you with every game, not just New World. So if you like play Apex or Warzone or anything like that. Uh, Xbox Network, ignore that. Gear mode off, capture, yep, yeah, everything off and that's off as well. So that, that's all you're going to want to do in regards to the Windows settings. There's nothing major to do on them ones. If you have a NVIDIA graphics card, then you're going to right-click on your desktop, go to NVIDIA Control Panel. I'm not going to sit and go through what each one means. I'm just going to purely show you guys everything, what you need. Because I, I know you guys don't care what everything means, or if you already know, then fair enough. I'm truly just going to go through what works best, okay? So start at the top here. Adjust image settings with preview. You want to have it set to use the advanced 3D image settings. That will then, you then click take me there or you can click here manage 3D settings or whatever. I'm just going to run through these dead quickly. So image scaling off, ambient occ occlusion off, and anisotropic filtering off, anti-aliasing FXAA off, anti-aliasing gamma correction off, anti-aliasing mode off. Which will blur out them next two for you. Background application max frame rate you want off. CUDA GPUs that you want on all, DSR factors off, DSR smoothness will then be automatically off as well, low latency mode just keep that off, max frame rate off, if you have a G-Sync or a free sync monitor then make sure that is set on, uh, and it says what type it is, uh, multi-frame sampled AA, AA off, OpenGL rendering GPU just make sure it is your graphics card, if you have more than one in there make sure it's set to the right one. Power management mode, prefer maximum performance, preferred rest rate, highest available, shader cache size is disabled, texture filtering, anisotropic, whatever the rest of that is, is off, texture filtering, negative LOD, bias, allow, texture filtering quality, again, just stick that on high performance, trilinear optimization, you want on, threaded optimization, also on, triple buffering off, vertical sync off, Virtual reality pre-rendered frames is one, and then virtual reality rate super sampling is off. Once, you, as soon as you change one or two things within here, there'll be an apply button down here. Just click apply. That's fine. Don't need to touch anything in configure surround physics. Well, you can if you want to, but it, nothing that'll help with the frame rate. Uh, in change resolution, you want to just obviously click on the monitor you want, um, make sure you are set to your native resolution, for me it's 1920 by 1080 and then make sure you're on the highest refresh rate possible, click apply on that. Adjust desktop colour settings, for me, I personally have mine between like 75 and 80% um, on the colour, you won't see a change on the recording, but um, on my actual screen everything's a lot brighter, um, this is really good just for helping you see more things. Uh, in any game, again, this isn't just for New World, this can be applied to anything. Rotate, display, you just want to make sure it's on landscape, you don't have to click anything else here. Nothing in here, nothing in here. Adjust desktop size and position, make sure instead of it saying aspect ratio, it's just purely on full screen. Perform scaling is on display, not GPU, make sure your uh, Resolution and your refresh rate are set again to what we said before. Your native resolution is 1920 by 1080, tells you there. Set up G-Sync, so again, if you have G-Sync compatibility, enable for full screen mode on the correct monitor. That's fine. Set up multiple displays, you, you know, that's, you know, personal, how you have your monitor set up, that's fine. Go down to adjust video color settings, and then 
with, click with the NVIDIA settings and click advanced and dynamic range change to full rather than limited. That's that fine. And then on this last one here, you're good. You don't have to press anything. So that is the NVIDIA control panel settings. So if you've done all that, you've done the window settings I showed you, load up new world, and then we can, we'll go through the in-game settings now. All right, so you've got new world open up and you've got your settings here. I'm just gonna go be going through like the visual kind of displays. I'm not gonna sit and go through every single setting you require. But one little bit of advice I will give you now is um, when weapon swapping as default, swap active weapons won't normally, or it didn't when I originally installed the game, have an active key. So what you want to do is set that to a key. I set it to mouse five because from playing Elder Scrolls Online, that's the one I used on that. Um, because when swapping to one and two, might not affect the actual frame rate as much, but it can actually cause a bit of a stutter or delay. If you're PvPing out there, and you want to be able to swap weapons as quick as possible, this is make sure you've got swap web active weapons. Okay, that's just a little helpful tip, all right? So, on your preferences, you just, obviously, your language language filter off or whatever if you don't, if you, you know, you're doing this to set this up for your kid or whatever, you don't want them to see the bad words in the chat, you can put that on. Subtitles on, and again, it's entirely personal. The only thing I'll tell you guys to do here is with bandwidth mode, just make sure it's on high. That means you're getting as much information from the server as possible. Gameplay, the um, camera sensitivity, obviously entirely up to yourself. Enable camera shake off. This does affect your FPS quite a bit. And it was only something I realized quite recently myself that I still had turned on. Everything else down here is pretty much fine by default. Floating damage numbers, I turn them off because, again, they affect your frame rate. Auto traverse, turn that off. That's just personal preference. I don't like running over shit. Everything else, them two are on, off. These are all, think, I think these are all pretty much the default settings, so they're fine. Auto pin recipes, you can put that on as well. Just, yeah, that's fine. Right, your visuals, okay. So windowed mode, you always have in full screen. That avoids any kind of screen tearing or anything like that. Resolution obviously is your native resolution, so for me 1920 by 1080. Monitor, monitor one. Brightness, I have on five, contrast five, again, that's personal preference. Field of view, put it on 70, make sure you're able to see as much. This will lower your FPS slightly, but not by much, it's just because you're going to be able to see more, so obviously there's more frames within the frame of the monitor. Now, honestly, video quality, I just have on low, right? So there is videos out there that show you the difference between like having your game on low settings and having it on very high settings and the difference is minimal for the amount of frames that you actually get extra from having it on video quality low so I, i'm i'm very much of the opinion that i like to have as many frames as possible but i don't like my game to look dog shit so for me to put something on all low settings was like oh i really don't want to do this but honestly it's fine it i still like the look of the game if you don't you can bump it up if you really want to but just remember this is about getting as many frames as possible all right Sure, hide your FPS if you, if you want to compare what you were getting before and after, you know, stick that on. Um, V-Sync, have it off. Max FPS. Now, if you are just simply playing on a 60 hertz monitor, cap it at 60, all right? But if you run a 144 or a 240 or anywhere in between, kind of anything above 60, just leave it on uncapped. They don't have the options to cap them any higher than 60 at the moment, so you just have to have it uncapped completely, which is fine. Um, but... If you're, if you're just running on a bog standard 60 hertz monitor, let's say you're playing on a 4K 60 hertz monitor kind of thing, stuff like that, just stick to the 60, all right? It'll be fine. You'll not get any screen tear or anything like that. Player name, player amount, just have it on 5. I think the default on this is like 20 odd. Lower it a bit because this even tells you the high amounts of name plates can severely affect frame rate. So especially in crowded areas, you might notice when you're in places like Everfall or something like that, the the your frames will drop and you'll stutter a bit because there's that many nameplates. So drop this down. You can drop it all the way down, but I personally have it on five. It seems to work fine for me. Cap, cap FPS in background, I have it on so that it doesn't use all my GPU when I'm literally not even on the game. Dynamic resolution scaling. This is the big uh, difference I found by like, turning this off. This, I think, is what affects you the most in regards to your FPS. Turning this off was a huge difference for me and it seemed to have really helped. So, yeah, do them settings there, audio communication, this is all your own stuff. None of this is going to affect the actual in-game whatever, but 
this is obviously, make sure you go through it, check it all. Um, yeah, this is all just normal stuff. Um, and nothing that's going to affect your in-game visuals, but just make sure you go through, make sure you've got everything set up. If you're a streamer, you know, connect, connect your Twitch. So, yeah, there you have it. That's the settings for you. Go through it. If anything didn't help, or if you've got a bit more of an in-depth question, let me know. Drop a comment below, um, and I'll, I'll go through and answer them all. But I hope the video helped, and, uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.